So if you think AI is not going anywhere and this is just a trend, well, sorry to burst your bubble. AI is the future of content creation and you need to figure out how do you implement AI into your content creation workflow. With the release of Adobe Firefly and that is still in beta with selected individuals and you have to apply. So I'd probably wait around a year or two until it is fully released to the public. But here is a little teaser of text-based commands when it comes to content creation. So if you haven't downloaded the newest beta of Photoshop, now you can with AI technology. Open up Photoshop beta and here's a lovely photo of yours truly. And just like all the other apps like CapCut, you can click this button. Now you can finally instantly remove the background by just a click of a button. What I can also do is I can automatically select my subject with a click of a button. I can also remove background with this new dialog box now. Just with one button. If you were using Photoshop back in the day, you had to painstakingly use the pen tool and go around and around and around and that would take hours. But now with the click of a button and with little touch ups here and there, instant auto mask, this technology has been around for quite some time, but now is finally being implemented through AI technology in Photoshop. But wait, there's more. Here is the AI portion. So all I need to do now is I can just select subject. And then what you want to do is let Photoshop this little option right here, generative uh, fill. Now I can be like, replace me right as a subject hit generate. It's going to have a generative layer right here and just wait a little bit and look at this magic. Look at this. And the cool thing about that is it's perfectly blended content aware fill and you have different variations. Not the worst job as there's still this little line here, but not not too shabby either. What I can also do is go into the lasso tool over here. Generative fill, remove the trees. There are other sites that generate AR art and it uses that similar type of technology, but this is built into Photoshop, guys. And last but not least, what you can also do is play around with this. Let's give me a Rudolph nose. Generate, give me a Rudolph nose. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. That's pretty funny. And last but not least, you can, hence it's a generative layer, you can generate your fill. So what I'm gonna do is draw here. And I can literally insert or generate anything I want, right? So uh, insert a beautiful, sexy model here. And you give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down. And of course, guys, that was just a little me messing around with all these tools. If you were to take these tools and do it professionally, i.e. Do this, change the color tone. Do this, desaturate this, add this, do this, mask this out. Just by having a generative fill, you're like, what used to take hours of time can literally be done by 10 seconds now. And you apply this same type of text-based command prompts like ChatGPT into Adobe Premiere as you're editing. Crazy times that right now, this seems like, oh my God, it's so new. It is so bizarre. It doesn't look good, but trust me, this will be the new norm and we will forget what it was like to painstakingly use the pen tool for hours, what it was like to splice up video clips clip by clip. Now we'll just, hey, take out all the gaps in this video clip, Adobe. Thank you. Integrating AI into text-based commands into Photoshop, just beginning, as well as Premiere Pro, After Effects, 
times are changing and it's very interesting. If you guys want to get serious about learning Premiere Pro or short form video content, I have crash courses in the description below. Help me help you. And if you want to get serious about content creation, book a one on one with me. You're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.